Teppo, come. Sit down. Allihopa! <laughs> Jag heter Teppo, heter du? I'm learning Swedish. He's very good at it. Yeah, tack. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. How, how's your trip been so far? Oh, it's been great. It's been great having you. It's always nice to leave, but it's also nice to go home. Now he said it's always nice to leave and always good to go home. When he arrived here, he just wanted to leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I miss my home, okay? I'm a homebody. <laughs> yeah. It's been great. We've been having a great time. And uh, I just want to say, please do give him one of your subs. Oh, thank you. Because thank we're going to get this man to 100k soon. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make a hundred ringers? One? <laughs> Zero? Oh. Zero? <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs>
a full-time job, even though a lot of people might not really notice the amount of work that you put in to your channel, there is a lot of things that you gotta do. I mean, like you gotta come up with the ideas, you gotta edit the videos, you gotta shoot the videos, you gotta do the accounting, you gotta make sure that you have the affiliate links in place, you gotta make sure that you are putting in the right amount of ads and all that and making sure that you get an engaging audience because without it, it's gonna be very hard for you to actually grow on YouTube or to get your channel to the point where you want it to be. And I've had my main channel ever since 2018. And this channel is something that I started approximately one and a half, two years ago. The reason that I started this channel was to have a creative outlet for videos that I didn't really see fit on my main channel, but that I still wanted to produce. If you've been following me for the last couple of years, then you probably know that during 2020, I was like having a super split decision whether or not I should post everything in one channel or not. And I've seen a lot of people that are in the same kind of dilemma with their channels where they have like a specific type of video that grew their channel to begin with. And when they post something that is not related to that, they don't get any views on those videos. And that is also the same thing that has happened to me because when I post something that is not camera related onto my main channel, there is very, very few views compared to when I post something that is camera review, a tutorial, or behind the scenes video. I really enjoy making those videos, but I also enjoy just recording vlogs and editing videos of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And after discussing with a bunch of my creative friends, almost all of them said to me like, yeah, but post everything on one channel, because if you do that, there's gonna be a bigger reach and eventually there's gonna be a new audience that joins in. But now that I've been running my main channel for that long and the vlog channel, this channel on the side, I've also started to realize that I try to see it as two different companies. They don't necessarily fit together. And the content that I post onto this channel is not necessarily something that would fit on my main channel, not necessarily something that I would want to post on that channel either. And the cool thing about having two channels like this is that I can post whatever I want on said channel, just making sure that I make the video and then post it here or post it there and then hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. But the thing is, it is not something that I would recommend to anyone that is not having a big following. The reason for it is because when you're starting out on YouTube, it is very hard to get views. It doesn't really matter what kind of niche that you jump into because just getting one or 10 views on your videos when you're in the starting stages of your channel is hard, even harder is to get to a thousand subs. And when you're at those numbers, there's absolutely no need about thinking start a second channel just because you want to do vlogs because you have not really built up an audience that is there for a specific thing except for you. Like in my case, with my main channel, it was built around the B-roll tutorials, the camera reviews, and the behind the scenes videos. So I totally understand when people don't wanna see the vlogs that I post. But the thing is that even though I have my big YouTube channel, this channel has still been like a really tough grind. It took me a really long time to like even start posting regularly onto this channel without feeling that I should post it onto my main channel. Being able to get your videos monetized on two channels in the beginning, that is something that you're gonna have a hard time with. So when you are like thinking about your YouTube channel, you should think about it as something that you're building up. And once you have the house, like once you have everything in place on one channel, that is when you can start branching out to create new TV shows or new channels and do whatever you want to do. I personally do not think that having one channel for everything is a good thing, but it's also gonna be fun to see if this year I'm gonna be right or if I'm gonna be wrong.